Hello there. My name is Ryan Berry, and I'm the business development manager here at Aeromotive Services. Today, we're going to be going over how to repair fiber optic cable. Let's begin. Let's take a look at some of the tools that are required to repair a fiber optic circuit. So on my left here, I have a cutter and a stripper. On the right, I have the crimper. And in the back, I have some diagonal cutters. I'm going to spend a little time talking about each one of these. The cutter and stripper is essential to a good repair for the fiber optic system. It'll allow you to cut the outer coating of the fiber optic cable without damaging the plastic inner fiber. Also, it'll give you a nice clean cut. The reason why we need a clean cut is because diagonal cutters like this will create a wedge or a point on the fiber optic cable. If you create a wedge or a point on the fiber optic cable, you're going to need to sand down the end of the fiber optic. The reason for it, it's like shining a flashlight through water. It'll just disperse all the light and you'll be, uh, receive a poor quality transmission. The crimper is essential because we're going to be crimping plastic onto this metal terminal. And you don't want to over crimp it because you'll end up pinching the fiber optic cable. And you don't want to under crimp it because then it'll just pull out when you do a tug test. We also have the inline splice. Once we crimp the fiber optic cable onto the terminal, we're going to then insert it into this housing and snap it into place with this cover. The key here is to make sure that both ends of the fiber optic cable and terminals are aligned properly within the housing. Again, we're dealing with light. So if it is off in one direction and the other one is pointed in an opposite direction, obviously the light transmission isn't going to work. So we need to make sure that when we insert them, they're basically butted up against each other and secured inside the housing. So let's get started and I'll begin cutting, stripping, and crimping a fiber optic cable. We have an assembly here that has some fiber optic damage. The first question is, how did we know that this was fiber optic cable? Well, it's the color. And this color is standardized, this orange to mustard color. So whenever you see this in a harness assembly, you have to immediately start thinking this is a fiber optic cable. Here you can see there's a little bit of a nick in it. Didn't take much. But luckily enough, it doesn't look like it reached down into the fiber optic cable. It really hit the outer coating. So it's pretty much intact, but not worth taking the risk. So we're going to repair this. We're going to take the damage out, and we're going to put an inline connector, or in wire terms, a butt splice, into this harness assembly. Now I'm going to take our diagonal cutters, and I'm going to go right through the center of the damage, and I'm going to cut it out and open it up. Now I'm going to be able to go back in, clean up the damage, install a terminal, and then secure it with an inline splice. As a quick reminder, I use the diagonals just to cut out the damage, but I'm not going to leave it like this. If I were to leave it like that, use the diagonals, I would then have to come over and sand it down with some 3000 grit sandpaper to smooth the edges. Instead, right tool for the right job. So I'm going to put this to the side. Here's the right tool. It's a cutter and a stripper for the fiber optic cable. My first objective is to cut out the damage. Now I'm going to size it up to the depth of my terminal and I'm going to want to go at least to the second ring with removing the outer coating. That'll allow the tip of the fiber optic cable to come right to the top of the terminal. Again, better transmission, right? Because we're going to have one end coming in this way and another end coming out that way. So let me do a quick cut. I'm going to go in as deep as I think is necessary to get the terminal in place. I'm going to bring in my cutting head. Cut the cable. So now I'm going to come in with the stripper. 
And again, my strip length is going to be the length of this barrel, which I'm going to about two rings deep. So I'm going to lay my fiber optic cable into my strip head. A little difficult looking at it upside down, but it's the best I can do as far as the camera angle is concerned. I'm going to give it a good crimp and pull. As you can see, it's already detached from the cable. Nice clean cut, nice smooth edge. Our next step is to make sure we have enough penetration of the fiber optic cable into the terminal. So I'm going to start inserting it. Feel a little resistance and boom. Nice. Look at that. Right to the edge of the barrel. Fantastic. Now I'm going to take our crimper and I'm going to feed it into our hand crimper. Again, we want to make sure we're bottomed out. There we go. Give it a crimp and release. Voila. In order to save time, I already crimped the other side and inserted it into our inline connector. Here's an example of the inline connector. I'm going to slide this barrel into one side, the opposite barrel into the other, sandwich these together. As you begin to insert the barrel, you're going to have to wiggle your way in, but once you do, you get an audible click and then you know it's secure. Now you want to do a tug test. Let's make sure it's secure, housing in place, all good to go. And then there's your repair to your fiber optic cable. We can get into testing these circuits later, but for now, that's your inline repair for a damaged fiber optic cable. You can also consider having us replace the entire cable assembly from end to end, and then you won't have to worry about repairs. Thanks for tuning in. As you can see, repairing fiber optic cable can be rather straightforward as long as you have the right tools and know-how. Aeromotive Services is able to actually repair and replace any fiber optic needs that you may need. Or if you feel like getting more hands-on, we can also rent you the tools. As always, thank you and have a safe day.